And to kick off our series of talks, it's my privilege to introduce our first keynote spe speaker, Mathieu Michel, Secretary of State for Digitization. Secretary Michel plays a pivotal role in advancing the digitization of uh, Belgium, and focusing on administrative simplification, protection of privacy, buildings main, uh, management, and all linked to the Prime Minister's office. So please join me in giving Secretary, uh, Sta uh, Secretary of State Michel a warm welcome on stage. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for this uh, wonderful uh, introduction. And so I, I want to wish you uh, a warm welcome in Belgium. Uh, you are not all from Belgium, I think? Yes, all from Belgium. So welcome in your house. Um, and you are actually here in Bozar. I'm also in charge of the building agency. So you are also in my, my house here. So welcome. It's a, it's a great pleasure uh, that I stand before you today to open this conference on open source. For, for me, uh, open source represents more than just uh, a movement. That's the, fo the foundation of the digital world as we know it today, due to its flexibility, customization, system stability, increased security, and open source operating system, I myself have been a user of Ubuntu. So it's a few years ago uh, on Linux. Um, open source embodies a, a revolutionary vision of technology where our code is freely accessible, modifiable, and shareable. This approach fosters collaborative innovation, allowing thousands of developers worldwide to contribute to common projects. Beyond technology, open source embodies a fundamental philosophy, that of the common good. By sharing our knowledge and resources, we strengthen the global community and create more equitable, inclusive, and innovative solutions. By sharing our resources and knowledge, we build a solid foundation for innovation. By prioritizing sharing of monopolizing data, ideas, sorry, we make them available to all, creating an ecosystem where everyone can contribute and benefit from its advantages. And these principles align with my vision as a state secretary for digitization. Everyone everyone should have access to the tools and knowledge offered by digital technology. Everyone should be able to collaborate. <laughs> okay, but so I don't see the audience. But <laughs> okay, so everyone should be able to collaborate and contribute to building the internet of tomorrow. Through online resources, we can learn new things and develop our technical skills. Sharing knowledge through specific licenses allows knowledge to be disseminated among citizens, leading to, to a convergent, inclusive, and ambitious nation. Reflecting my strategy, these principles have the undoubtedly also informed my policies, and it is on this basis that I launched a few years ago with the support of the Digital Minds the smart nation strategy. The goal is to bring together the various digital ecosystems in Belgium, because Belgium is, you know, it's a very small country, but also a very complex one for its citizens. My objective is for Belgium to be more inclusive, convergent, and ambitious. Inclusive by not leaving anyone behind and making knowledge accessible. Convergent by bringing all stakeholders around the same table to share and pool their knowledge. And ambitious because our action is not limited in Belgium or Europe, but to the world. And, when, and we learn a lot from others. Through the, the Smart Nation strategy, I've thought to interconnect the various projects emerging in Belgium to gain rationalization and efficiency. Collaboration and knowledge sharing are at the heart of the digital ecosystem. I actively encourage the sharing of experiences, educational resources, 
and best practices within the digital community, thus fostering an environment conducive to collective and contribution to learning and technological project progress. It is in, in this context that I support projects, for example, like PIX, an online certification tool for digital competencies, which perfectly embodies this philosophy. I encourage close collaboration among stakeholders on the ground, as well as among member states and various stakeholders to ensure the effective deployment of integration of such tools into educational and professional systems. Opening, opening up data also plays a fundamental role in this vision. By opening software and data, we pave the way for innovation. And that's what we did in Belgium. Open data fuels applications and services that improve citizens' lives, stimulate economy, and drive scientific research. By making this data available to the public, we enable citizens, researchers, and businesses to use it to create value and to develop new services. With my administration, BOSA, I want to salute here Jack Yamont, which is in the room, we have also supported several initiatives like the Open Summer, the Open Summer of Code, organized by Open Knowledge Belgium, offering Belgian students the opportunity to work on open innovation projects. It's a real win-win where students develop open source projects in a small team and organizations can present themselves as attractive employers. The Boza Web Content Management System, WCMS, platform hosts more than 200 websites, including sites like Belgium.be and diplomacy.belgium.be using the open source Drupal system. We also use the, the platform entirely designed with free software Decidim for citizen consult consultation through our Mon Opinion, My Opinion service. We use and will continue to use open source like the EID code, which has been accessible to everyone since more than 20 years. Even as security standards evolve and become more demanding, we will continue to promote the use of open source with the digital wallet, which will be based on the use of the open code itself based on free software. And it will be released very soon. And Jack? Open source software can also play a crucial role in supporting European digital sovereignty. Indeed, they make Europe more independent of other countries' solutions and stimulate the local economy with local offers. Thanks to open, the open source uh, software, we can be more competitive in high value added sectors such as artificial intelligence, traditionally dominated by Americans, while respecting European value such as transparency, inclusion, and also democracy. In February 2024, the Interoperable Europe Act has been adopted. With this new legislation, the EU aims to improve the interoperability of cross-border digital public services and should promote the use of free and open source software. In conclusion, I, I won't be much longer, but I note that from the time when I first discovered open source to today, I can say that mindsets have evolved significantly. All of us, governments, citizens, businesses, civil society, academics, have understood that open source could also be a viable initiate alternative, both commercially and technically to proprietary, to proprietary software. Open source is not just a software development method, it is also an invitation to rethink our relationship with technology, knowledge, but also with each other. By embracing the values of transparency, collaboration, and sharing, we can open new paths to a fairer, more innovative, and more inclusive human world. Open source is not just about code, 
It is an affirmation of our deepest value as human beings, seeking progress and innovation. And that's what we are doing right now. Thank you for your attention.